Hi there, Heidi Saravola here from startsat8.com. Um, once again, talking about Schiller Math. If you haven't seen my Schiller Math Kit 2 unboxing, um, I encourage you to head over and take a look at what all is in this kit, um, the Schiller Math Kit 2. It includes multiple years of math. And today I'm going to kind of show you what happens after you open the box. So what happens after you open the box? Um, as you heard me say in my unboxing, I'm new to Schiller Math. I, it's not a program I've used before. So after we open the box, there's a really neat quick start guide right in the front of the book. Um, and in a minute you'll see that on the screen so that you can take a better look at it. But in that quick start guide, it recommends you taking a review or your child taking a review test and that are provided with throughout the book. So we started by taking a review test to see where she, my daughter Ava, falls. She's in sixth grade. Um, she's used many different programs. So not all sixth graders are created equal. Not all kids are created equal. Just because you say your kid's in sixth grade, they could be at a different level than another sixth grader. So the fact that Schiller Math includes a way for you to determine where your child places is super, super great. And um, one of the benefits um, that I think the program has. So here's Ava, my sixth grader. Um, we're going to sit down and show you how a lesson would go. Um, according to the Quick Start Guide, you can do, choose to do one lesson a day, multiple lessons a day. Um, they recommend 30 minutes, but you know if you're having a rough day and the lesson is a little difficult, do one. If it's going great and you're having a good time and it's easy, do a couple. Um, the lessons are all scripted for you, so you basically can read from them, or if your student is independent, they can read and, and follow along and do it themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do a lesson as though we were doing it, and you can see what it looks like. So, Ava, people use a convention, a rule, to avoid any confusion when doing arithmetic. The rule is we multiply first, then add. So what is the correct rule? We multiply first and then add. Right, we multiply first and then add, and that's an order of operations. So, say the rule again. We multiply first and then add. Okay, so here's how we find out what 3 times 2 plus 1 equals. So, if we have 3 times 2 plus 1, what do we have to do first? We do the 3 times 2. We multiply. So, 3 times 2 is? 6. 6. So, then we multiply. Now, what do we do? We add. We add. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is? 7. So 3 times 2 plus 1 is? 7. 7. And now we have a bunch of examples that we can go through together. We'll just do one and, um, and then we'll quit. So we have 3 times 6 plus 2. What do we need to do first? Multiply 3 times 6. 3 times 6. So 3 times 6 is? 18. And then after we multiply, what do we do? We add. We add. So 18 plus 2 two is how much? 20. 20. So we multiplied, then we added. 3 times 6 plus 2 equals 20. 20. Okay, so I just quick wanted to mention when you're doing your lessons, you can choose to do them in the book. You can choose to do them verbally. We also keep a notebook handy. You can see that we actually quickly go through and make notes as we go. So if, you're, if your child needs or wants to write, that's, it's a great way to have kind of a notebook handy and you can label the, the lessons that you're doing and use a notebook. Um, in our example, we were just doing them verbally because those are things that she can do in her head. Um, another one of the great uh, features of Schiller Math is they have songs. Now, I know any of you who have read my blog for any amount of time knows that I love teaching with songs. Um, my kids learn to multiply by song. They learn the presidents in order by song, um, 50 states, um, periodic table. Uh, so Schiller Math includes songs, and I'm going to play you a little clip and just show you a little clip of the lyrics. When you're looking at numbers on the number line, look for zero every time. Positive numbers to the right you'll see, negative numbers to the left. 
The catchy songs are just one of the things I really like about the Schiller Math Program. Um, they also send you a great box of manipulatives to work with, and you can see that in my unboxing video, all the ones that come with this Schiller Math Kit too. Um, it's great for hands-on learners. I also like the fact that they do have scripted lessons, so if you want to sit down with your child and go through them, you can easily do that. Um, or if your child is independent, they can easily uh, be independent in their math skills as well. Um, I highly encourage you to head over to SchillerMath.com, check out their Math Kit 1. They, this is Math Kit 2. They also have a Fractions Kit. Um, so go head over and check them out. They have great Montessori-based uh, learning kits for math for grades pre-K through 8.